Hello all, welcome to Electro Study. Today I am going to discuss the previous year question paper on environmental protection and management, one of the subjects which is offered by civil engineering department. It is basically an open elective. As of now, the subject code is 18 CV 753. It is open to all branches. All right. So I would like to show you the question paper. Along with that, I can give some tips how to present in the examination. All right. Moving on to the discussion. Initially, my plan is to display the question paper which is asked with the year of uh, 2022. Here you can see, uh, we can see the questions from module 1, then module 2. Then these are the questions from third module and uh, question from fourth module and uh, finally few questions from fifth module. So this covers entire questions belong to the question paper which is framed during uh, the February or March 2022. Today my plan is to explain the question which is covered from module 1 and module 2 respectively. So let us directly go on to module 1. Question 1a. Enumerate the various environmental management principles and explain any two principles. We know that there are a set of environmental management principles. First of all, it is better to prepare the checklist. In that, you find out your convenient points and explain by your own sentences. Whenever you are writing the points, please do take care the underline the important points. And uh, if you have some flow charts, it is better to present the flow chart or flow diagrams conveniently. The weightage is 10 marks. Let me show you the answer. What you are supposed to do is, it is better to prepare the seven key principles of environmental management in this, in this manner. Better put the abbreviations if necessary. Then what you can do, whichever you can explain better. For example, I can explain uh, polluter phase principle very clearly. So do mention what is polluter pay principles. And uh, if any diagrams are related to that particular topic, kindly add those diagrams. So this is the way how to manage it. At least you can fill two pages. So this is regarding question 1A. Now I would like to move on. Question 1B. Enumerate the various drivers and barriers for sustainable development. First of all, you need to know what is a sustainable development. You can give an example of sustainable development if necessary. So how to present question 1B? So as you can see, the various barriers, you need to explain, you need to know what is sustainable development. What are the barriers? Okay, what are the hurdles of that particular sustainable development? You have to prepare the checklist. So let us make at least five, uh, five points. Question 1B, I need to make at least five points. For your convenience, I prepared the different list like uh, economic and financial barriers, uh, in, uh, innovational barriers, and R&D, we are facing a lot of issues, social barriers, social stigmas, then political issues, and the poor monitoring and controlling, then institutional barriers because of hierarchy, then trade barriers, and economic cycle, business cycle, all those things you can explain. So at least you explain five points. You can explain five important points. Okay. So try to write by your own sentences. Don't deviate the topics, but you can focus your own sentences. Since it's a management subject, you are expected to write, you have to elaborate your own views and concepts. So this is regarding question number uh, 1B. So I think it's clear to everybody. So kindly read question number 2A. Explain abatement of pollution. List out the major activities initiated under the various schemes on pollution abatement. So how to present the answer? Question 2A. I made a checklist. First of all, you need to explain what is a pollution, pollu uh, pollu uh, pollution abatement. So pollution abatement refers to any measure taken to reduce, control, or eliminate the pollution from the given environment. That is a definition. 
So what, what are the different measures? Try to explain by your own by your own examples. Like a catalytic converters in automobiles, one of the typical examples. Replace the uh, conventional sources by using non-conventional sources. So con examples of conventional sources are thermal power station, nuclear power station, etc. It is better to replace those uh, conventional sources by using the non-conventional sources like uh, solar power plant, wind power plant, etc. Okay. Uh, then uh, regarding the water quality, you can explain. Okay. Uh, then uh, zero liquid discharge. There are different terminologies are available. So better explain your own sentences. Then uh, different areas like uh, air pollution, soil pollution, water pollution. How do you minimize those pollutions? And what are the major examples of energy conservation? Okay. So try to uh, explain with the help of examples. That carries more weightage. So that is regarding question number 2A, abatements. Now, uh, question number 2B, enumerate the business character tools for sustainable production and consumption. In it, then you have to explain. Uh, it carries 10 marks. Okay. If you uh, 10 point, 10 marks. Like that, they will do the valuation. So, question number 2B. Let us go for question number 2B. Here, uh, nowadays, you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, policy from the government side. Every corporate has to contribute something for environment. So, every uh, department every uh, organization there is an environmental engineering department like uh, corporate responsibility for environmental protection crep department is uh, mandatory for every organization nowadays you can see different examples also no sorry for example if you are purchasing a product from mama's earth uh, so they are saying that whenever you are purchase you are ordering a product they are uh, doing the sampling so likewise uh, there are different examples even amazon also amazon is actually uh, nowadays, Amazon India is uh, switching over all the products from uh, the plastic to non-plastics. Paper, paper-based product. So the packets are entirely uh, pollution, pollution, pollution free. There are a different type of uh, initiation uh, developed from different type of uh, organization can be uh, one of the examples. Uh, you can mention different examples. Similarly, uh, different, uh, different uh, organization, uh, different cells are available uh, for uh, this kind of activity. That you have to explain in brief. Okay. So, you can add your own sentences and uh, your own uh, knowledge based on that particular, uh, your own updation. Okay. You might have uh, read different newspapers, advertisement, etc. That also you can highlight. That is regarding question number 2B. So, at the, see, these are the different uh, points like uh, chrome recovery, waste minimization measures, reduction of water consumption, uh, then compliance of standards of all CETPS. So, all the points you have to elaborate, at least 10 points you have to mention, each point you know, carries one word mark. Fine. So, getting marks is not a big deal for this objective. You can, you have to elaborate it properly. Fine. So, next we will, uh, these are the important questions asked from module 1. Now, I will be discussing important question from module 2. Enumerate the various environmental quality objective. Briefly explain any two. There are 10, more than 10, 50, around 15 points are available. Out of that, you have to explain any two. Fine. So, making the checklist, you will be getting 3 to 4 marks. Remaining explanation, you will be getting another 6 marks. So, 4 plus 6 is nothing but 10 marks. So, question number 3A. We will have a look on question number 3A. So, as you can see, these are the uh, uh, points. At least any any two you can explain. For example, if you are comfortable with the uh, zero eutrophication, you had explained what is eutrophication, how the eutrophication impacting on the aquatics, how to minimize uh, those uh, issues. Then if you are if you can explain sustainable uh, forest, so um, you can speak about deforestation, a, a scenario of deforestation. Then uh, what are the steps taken by the government or agencies uh, for preventing deforestation? So like that, you can explain any two. That is regarding question number 3A. Okay. Question number 3A is clear, I guess. Enumerate various environmental quality objectives. That is okay. Easy questions only. Then distinguish between pollution control and pollution prevention, concentration and mass standards. Each carries 5, 5 marks. 5 plus 5 is nothing but 10 marks. Okay, let us go through question number 3B. Okay, 3B. You have to elaborate it properly. Manage your time because all questions are somewhat lengthier. You need to manage within three hours. Fine. Starting itself, you have to plan well. As soon as you receive the question paper, you have to plan at the beginning itself. Otherwise, you cannot finish within the stipulated time. 
question number 3b let us have a brief uh, in, uh, introduction question number 3b so so you have to speak about different agencies like cpcb pollution uh, central pollution control board what are the functions major area covered by the agency what are the terms and condition how they are making the policies and how they are controlling uh, for state uh, pollution control board is also available state pollution control board will be communicating with the central pollution control board those things you have to mention then how they are monitoring how they are policy uh, revising the policy here uh, then a different type of mass concentration like uh, uh, different c60 standard then uh, parts per billion and the parts per million that concentration then uh, toxicity measurement how you are saying that uh, the water the water quality is poor okay so what are the uh, amount of uh, chemicals what are the different standards of chemicals which is present in the uh, particular water or particular uh, liquid and saying that uh, that particular liquid is belong to one of the polluted water or pollutant con pollutant contents like that how you are uh, uh, proceeding or how you are enumerating that you are supposed to mention okay now if you want you can draw uh, the pollution uh, prevention hierarchy like a pyramid okay uh, like a pyramid like structure inverted pyramid it's not like a pyramid it's an inverted pyramid avoid reduce reuse recycle like that you can mention Similarly, pollution control practices, recycling, triple R concept, recycling, reusing, waste minimization. If you can make a checklist and explain in brief, that is a lot more sufficient. You will be get, definitely will be getting five marks. Now, another five marks, okay, uh, you can uh, explain uh, with uh, the, uh, the, the, the different concept from these points. That is more than sufficient. Five plus five, you will get 10 marks. No, don't worry about that. Okay, now question number uh, 3b now 3b is over now question number 4a explain the environmental performance evaluation process using pdca cycle first of all it is better to elaborate what is pdca cycle they have been elaborated so we have to elaborate it examiner is expected to elaborate uh, pdca from uh, the candidate student side okay 4a let us go through 4a in the 4a the pdca cycle is nothing but plan do check and act this is the elaboration so how you are relating to the environment that is very important okay so you need to elaborate uh, what is plan do check act like a planning then uh, organizing controlling then directing those management principle you have to apply so principle for generating and providing quantitative environmental information guidelines policies etc you have to elaborate in brief now for b i have to discuss question number for b Question number 4b, briefly explain cleaner production and cleaner technology, zero discharge technique. Very simple question, direct questions only. There is no complication because all the things are available in the syllabus. Okay, whatever the faculty is covered, same thing only they are asking. Okay, so there is no worry about that. Now I would like to discuss about these points. So the uh, B1, you'll be getting five marks. B2, you, are, you can get uh, five marks. Five plus five is nothing but 10 marks. Okay. 4B, let us have a brief discussion on 4B. So, so likewise, you can make a diagram. For example, if I asked about PDC in the previous question, prepare a diagram like this. So it is more uh, convenient to uh, understand whether the, when, suppose I'm a evaluator, I'm an examiner or I'm an evaluator. So I will come to know that the particular candidate can understand the concept very clearly. Highlight with the help of block diagram, flow chart, single line diagram like that you can highlight and uh, you can convince the examiner okay that is the tips i wanted to add uh, especially for this kind of management subjects so cleaner production you have to ex ex explain with the help of what is a cleaner production so uh, improve the profitability worker safety reduce the environmental impact uh, then product modification good housekeeping these are the examples of cleaner production it is mandatory uh, to follow the cleaner production in all the type of uh, industries then cleaner technology, sustainable. It is one of the concept of sustainable development. So usage of solar power, usage of wind power, like uh, non-conventional sources of energy. Then a triple R concept you can explain, reduce, reuse, recycle. Then um, green chemistry, okay. Like uh, instead of using artificial color, go for synthetic color. These are the example which I, uh, whatever I understood, I'm explaining. Like the, likewise, you, are, you can present your own views. Nothing wrong in that, fine. So different cleaner technology you can explain. 
then zero liquid discharge technology is very important nowadays because uh, we are trying to minimize the chemical content as much as possible there is a uh, cycle there is a process you can explain the process with the help of a simple diagram suppose uh, we have a process like a waste water producing unit a plant or an industry so we are using fresh water from the lake or nearby water sources so waste water will be eliminated we are not eliminating the waste water directly to the water bodies instead of that there is a zero liquid discharge treatment plant nearby that particular unit it is mandatory that there is additional plant nearby uh, the particular industry from that particular using different uh, chemical process the so the chemicals are segregated is for example solid waste or solids are segregated the same solid will be reused okay so it, it may be some chemical contaminants it can be used for the process again fine so what you are going to do is you are not wasting the water you are uh, not throwing the chemicals to the particular water bodies you are saving the environment you are protecting the environment so this uh, flow diagram or uh, the process flow diagram will be helpful uh, for explaining in a uh, complete sentences so that you can convince the examiner very easily try to draw it neatly and you, you can give the uh, simple elaboration how the settled process zero liquid discharge process takes place so time being i am concluding so remaining uh, part will be discussed in the next session uh, stay tuned uh, if the session is useful i request everybody to uh, share the same content with your friends so that they will also will be getting benefit during the examination so i wish you all the best let us uh, continue the remaining session in the next class thank you so much for watching this video